Imagine this. In the not-so-distant future, what could be the hottest job in a futuristic society? We might not need a banker, a lawyer. We might need a doctor, an engineer. But we most definitely need a farmer. A former investment banker is changing the traditional way we've been farming for thousands of years. He has a new approach to farming. The way in which we grow food hasn't fundamentally changed in over 10,000 years. Seventy percent of the entire world's water, the fresh water, goes to agriculture. Uh, a lot of the carbon emissions come from agriculture. Uh, if you can really find ways to meaningfully improve and modernize agriculture, you can actually solve a lot of the other challenges that exist today. indoor systems and right now it's growing romaine lettuce and as you can see all of the the lettuce that you see growing in here is actually growing uh, without using any kind of soil so all the roots are actually just sitting uh, in a bed of nutrient water uh, and all of this water is recirculated so this system uh, to operate it for one month the amount of water that we use here is the equivalent of one shower and uh, so we use about 20 to 25 times less water, fertilizer, and land. My name is Stuart Oda, working at Alaska Life, uh, which is an agricultural technology company. I usually tell people I'm a former investment banker turned urban farmer. It's like an easy way to explain my, my professional career. Uh, and one of the things that I really want to do is be an entrepreneur but specifically to solve a very, very big challenge that was out there. What's really interesting about China is that it innovates uh, at a pace in an environment that is very unique. And by that I mean it's very fast. And so it forces, um, forces me or forces my team to innovate much, much faster than them or focus in areas that cannot be replicated. I don't, I don't have a, a traditional agricultural background. I also don't have an academic agricultural background. Uh, so it took, about, uh, it took about 18 months to even just develop the idea and develop the original blueprint, so it took a, quite a long time. We started out as farmers first. So we built the technology and then we farmed in it for a while. The tools that we develop now are, are related directly to what the challenges that we faced as farmers. One by one, we took what was available in traditional farms, uh, so replacing the sunlight with LEDs, uh, or replacing uh, soil with um, these biodegradable sponges, just finding all the ways in which to replace the, the conventional uh, inputs of agriculture. What we build in itself is, is essentially these small modular farms. They can be placed anywhere in the city. They can, I mean, they can be placed anywhere, not just in the city. So here you see romaine lettuce being grown. This entire floor will be harvested for our hotel customers. And in the back you see uh, the microgreens that are being grown uh, as well for, uh, for uh, the hotel deliveries today. By growing locally, by growing fresh, um, our vegetables have significantly higher nutrients in them. The taste and texture and the flavor is obviously much better because it's fresh. I guess one of the great perks of, of working in an ag company is you have fresh vegetables all the time. So our employees, uh, and me included, we bring home fresh vegetables daily almost. We're finding that as the, the tech is, is, is finally reaching a point of, of maturing, that our costs are, are very, very competitive to what they might buy uh, in supermarkets. Uh, and just purely based on the fact that we don't use pesticides, that it's grown fresh and local, um, and that the, um, because of the controls that we can maintain food safety very, very well. I'm very picky about quality now because the food that we grow um, is always fresh. So the taste is, a very, uh, is very intense, for example. The texture is a certain way. Um, I also know that we don't use any pesticides, so I know that it's 100% it's safe. Uh, we purify the water, we purify the air, 
Uh, we don't use any harmful chemicals, and so the vegetables that we have, we don't wash. We don't have to wash them. I was born in Denver, Colorado, in the mountains, uh, and then when I was very young, I moved to California. So kind of the journey from, from there to there was more about, uh, about kind of like our family moving um, and then my father's work. But, um, you know, as I was growing up, I, I had an opportunity to grow. It was like a part of the curriculum, which is amazing. So I had like a little vegetable patch in my backyard, I grew strawberries, baby corn. I grew a lot of things, actually. Uh, it was something that I enjoyed a lot. The current stigma around farming and agriculture and a farmer is that they might be less educated or uh, they might be poor, they might look a certain way. Um, but if you really think about the future, even 10 years from now, um, as we think about being interplanetary, one of the most respected professions in space will be a farmer. It's the only compliment in its entirety that I can remember uh, is from a young child and after coming through one of our programs he came up to one of my team members and said that when he grows up he wants to be an urban farmer and I think that statement would would worry most parents 10 years ago and 10 years from now that statement might be very very common which is really really exciting